the good life full of fun. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. What are we gonna make? You guys probably already know that's why you clicked on the header on YouTube, but today we're gonna make pasta. Quick, easy pasta like the masters make it. It's a short video, it's a lot of fun, it's easy, but I'm gonna show you some tips that take what many people think is normal pasta making and absolutely throw it through the roof, okay? Number one, we're gonna start with pasta. This is a capellini. There's a lot of different versions of pasta, typically depending on what you're making it with, whether it's a sauce, whether you have meat, whether you have chicken, it all depends on how the sauce is gonna to attach to it. But real quick tip on pasta, okay? What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to use a durum wheat Italian pasta. Why? They have a very special form of species of wheat they use. You want no fortification, you want nothing but durum wheat pasta. That's the best pasta, okay? So this is a capellini. Hey, how you doing? And it's gonna be light, it's easy, it's three to five minutes cook time. It's nice and fun, perfect for this video, okay? Next thing, salt. How much salt should we put in? Real easy, I've got a gallon of water going on behind me in this pot. You wanna use about a quarter of a cup of sea salt, which is gonna be our next ingredient, okay? We got a pound of pasta, quarter cup of sea salt, I use the gray sea salt, per gallon, which is about a tablespoon and a quarter tablespoon and a half per quart, just to give you an idea. It should taste like sea salt, okay? Next, this sounds a little crazy, but I'm telling you, it's the way to do it. We wanna starch up the water. So uh, essentially, when you put your pasta in there, okay, what it is, is it's a starch. So when you starch the water ahead of time, what it does is one, it preps the water to taste better. Number two, you're always gonna wanna hold back a little of that pasta water when you put it in a dish. So starching the water up is great. Again, about a tablespoon and a half per gallon, I'm sorry, per quart. So I got about a quarter cup of semolina, durum wheat semolina flour. We're gonna actually throw that in the water, okay? Now, that, I'm so excited, I gotta swallow here. That water is going and I want a rapid boil. So the, the water's going, it's a rapid boil, then I'm gonna put the salt, I'm gonna put the wheat in there. Next big question, do you put olive oil in there? My advice to you is to never, I know it goes against some people, hold on, don't get mad at me, don't ever put olive oil in your water. One, a nice big pot stirred will always prevent your pasta from sticking, not the oil, okay? Oil it after. Number two, if I oil the pasta, okay, what happens is the oil will attach to the pasta and it prevents the absorption of the water, any type of salt, any type of flavoring is now inhibited from penetrating the pasta. So on olive oil, what are you going to add? You're going to add Vito and Joe's. Hey, how you doing? So guys, go right on our website, which is Cooking Italian with Joe. You can go on our Facebook. You can go on Vito and Joe's uh, Extra Virgin Olive Oil on Facebook as well. And grab yourself a bottle of oil. We sell a large. I'm so excited. I can't talk. We sell a large and a small. They're inexpensive. We'll drop ship it right to your house. Comes right from our farm or farms out in Puglia. Absolutely delicious. Last, we're going to add some pepper. So we want to add some pepper and some salt after we take it out. So we're going to take a bowl, right? We're going to take our bowl. We're going to put some olive oil in here. We're going to put some salt, pepper. You can add garlic, whatever you want. Then when you take the pasta out, you're going to put it in there. And the masters... They only use tongs. You don't use a colander. What are you using a colander for? Are you kidding me? You use a thong. And then you want to save that pasta water because sometimes you'll need to add that or add a little liquid and you don't want to dilute anything. You want to add the pasta water, okay? So hopefully I didn't make it complicated. I'm going to bring you right over here. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. A couple more minutes, we're done, baby. Mwah. Talk to you in a minute. Here we go. I got this thing going. So it's a little trick my father always used to do. He used to take a plate, throw it over the top. Now we got a rapid boil. Rapid boil, I'm gonna take my semolina durum flour. How you doing, okay? Now that's gonna starch up my water. Number two, I'm gonna take my salt. Add that right to it, okay? And now what we're doing here is we're prepping it. You wanna wait till that water's boiling so that you can get a beautiful mix and everything dissolves. And you're gonna see how perfect that is, okay? See how nice and starchy that water is? All right guys, so during the cooking process, you wanna just check it once or twice, and we're going for that al dente, right? 
which means that it's not crunchy, but it's got a little bit of a bite to it, a little bit of a depth to it. So what I did is I took about eh, a third of a cup of olive oil, Vito and Joe's extra virgin, obviously, right? And I did a little thyme, a little rosemary, a little basil, salt and pepper, and I put it right in that olive oil on the bottom of that bowl. And then with my tongs, I'm just gonna take that pasta, and it's okay that you get some of that water in there, okay? And I'm just gonna put it right in there. So like a master, you're gonna take those, you're gonna take those tongs, and you're just gonna put it in there. Now, if, you, if you're doing a dish where you maybe need a little bit extra moisture, or your pasta gets a little dry, now I'm just gonna mix it. Look at that, nothing's sticking together. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, I got the olive oil. Isn't that gorgeous? I got just a little bit. You can throw cheese in there if you want. I like to put it on after. And you've got the olive oil, the salt, the pepper, the rosemary, the basil. You put that in there anything you want. Or you throw some sauce in there. Absolutely delicious. And guys, right there, that's how the masters make a perfect pasta. Now, normally I wouldn't do this, but my family's not here yet. I'm gonna taste that puppy right now. Mmm. Absolutely perfect. Perfect al dente. I got just a little bit of thyme, the basil, the salt, the pepper. Mmm. That Vito and Joe's olive oil. Mmm. Muscle Delaccio. Guys, now that's how you make the perfect bowl of pasta. Thanks for letting me spend a few minutes with you, sharing my heritage, my traditions. In the meantime, spend some time with your family in the kitchen. Make a beautiful bowl of pasta. Throw some sauce. Tell some stories. Play some music. Throw a towel over your shoulder. Until next week, guys. Mwah! Bon appetito. It's the good life.